hi guys welcome back to Kelly j's kitchen in today's video i'll take you guys back in the kitchen with me and i'll show you how to prepare these amazing plantain tarts don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever i upload a new video go ahead and tell your friends tell your family members about Kelly j's kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel Follow me on Instagram, it's CaliKitchen underscore one. And also on Facebook, it's Cali J's Kitchen. So here I have my ripe plantain. I also went ahead and just cooked my plantain for roughly about 6 to 10 minutes just to get it really soft. Once my plantain is cooked nicely, I remove it from the hot water and then I'm just going to place it in a container and I'm going to use a fork to just crush my plantain nicely. Now, if you have a potato masher at home, you can always go ahead and use your potato, potato masher that is. So let me just apologize guys. I realize that some of the footage is missing. However, I will walk you along the process. So once my, my plantain is nicely crushed, I will go in and of course add my brown sugar. You can opt to use granulated sugar or you can just eliminate sugar out of it i also add my spices my mixed spice my cinnamon powder and of course my freshly grated nutmeg and of course i added some of my vanilla flavoring and also my food coloring now you can opt to use a red food coloring or you can use any color of your choice once I combine everything together and I get that nice color that I'm looking for, I just put it to the side and then I'm just going to work on my short crust pastry dough. Of course, the dough consists of flour, some of my salt, I also added some margarine and of course I added some cold water to the dough and allow it to come together nicely. So what I did, I went ahead and just add some flour to the surface that i'm gonna roll my dough and of course i just lay my dough flat and i'm just gonna roll it until it is thin enough you don't want it too thin about half an inch is perfect and of course once your dough starts to stick what you can do you can just add some more flour to the surface or on the dough now all of these ingredients that i'm using today you can get it at your local supermarket or grocery shop remember to be creative remember to be you in the kitchen and most of all utilize whatever you have at home you can even visit your local farmer's market and of course you will get ripe plantains there as well so i don't have um a, 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 a bottle or anything to that is circular or are big enough to cut out the dough so i'm gonna use a pot cover now you have to be creative and like i always encourage you guys to just be you in the kitchen and just utilize whatever you have so we're just gonna use the pot cover because i think it works perfectly fine for me So once you cut out all of that circular out of your dough, you just want to ensure that you start to dust the surface again because you don't want your dough to stick. So you just take up your dough and of course you add some flour and then we're going to start by adding the filling. Now, like I said, the filling consists of the plantain, the spices and also the sugar and of course the food coloring and i combine everything together nicely so you just want to take up a small amount of the filling and add it to the dough and then you're just going to go ahead and fold it over i also went ahead and preheat my oven at 250 degrees and this is going to bake for roughly about 40 minutes So again guys you just want to take up a small amount of the filling you don't want to take up too much because once it goes in the oven and if you fill it up too much then it's a possibility that it's going to open and we don't want it to open all right so once we fill up all of those dough nicely we're just going to take a fork to just seal the edge now you don't have to use a fork to seal the edge you can always go ahead and use your fingers once we seal up all of those edges we're gonna go ahead and of course place these tarts on our baking tray 
and we're just going to put them to the side and work on the others now we're going to go ahead and of course add the these plantain tarts to the oven for roughly about 25 minutes after 25 minutes we're going to go ahead and remove them and of course i'm going to add some of my melted butter on top and please note guys that you don't have to add the melted butter what you can do you can always go ahead and use some egg wash and this is it my plantain tarts and of course you just want to make some hole on top so that it bake a little bit quicker so guys it's the same procedure if you're gonna make patties it's the same thing all right the only difference is that we use plantain for these if you're gonna make patty you know that you're gonna use the beef or chicken to make your patty so this is it so after 25 minutes this is what my plantain tart looks like so as i said earlier we're just gonna add some melted butter on top just to get that sheen and of course that taste and you just want to ensure that you add the butter all over your planting tarts um guys christmas is coming thanksgiving is coming you can always go ahead and prepare this for the entire family if you're home on a saturday you can make this for the kids and you can even give them for break at school or lunch whatever it is if you're having a party you can always go ahead and prepare these amazing planting tarts and they're really easy to prepare and you can always go ahead and check the description box for all of the ingredients that i'm using and just in case you want to add the egg wash like i said earlier you can always go ahead and use the egg wash or you can just simply use the butter it's up to you what you want to use just remember to be creative and always try to be you in the kitchen and just utilize whatever you have creativity doesn't cost much all right <laughs> just a reminder so we're just gonna place these back in the oven once we add all of that nice melted butter and once it's finished i will come back and show you guys what it looks like now you can always go ahead and add some granulated sugar on top of your planted tarts or you can just go ahead and add some sprinkles like i did So in a few minutes, I will show you guys what these planting tarts looks like. Guys, remember you can always go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about these amazing planting tarts. And these are my planting tarts, guys. Looking so lovely and nice. Of course, we're going to serve this up nice. And of course, you don't want to serve this up to kids when it's very hot. You want to ensure that they cool down a little bit before you serve it to kids, all right? Remember, when you, when you open it, the steam will come out. So you want to ensure that you allow your plantain tarts to cool down a bit before you give it to your kids. Just a reminder. So I'm going to add my sprinkles and then I'll come back and show you guys what my plantain tarts looks like really easy really simple like i said you can always go ahead and serve this up to the entire family and this is it guys the final product of my amazing planting tarts i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe i hope you guys go ahead and try it out and let me know what you think remember to subscribe to my channel remember to turn on your post notification bell guys we are literally 600 subscribers away from 10k so help me get there by subscribing and sharing with your families and your friends thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys tomorrow for another awesome recipe bye guys